Okay, well, hi, everybody. My name is Colleen Bowman, and I'm really excited to tell you about Story Hill. So yesterday, Senator Blumenthal asked everyone, how can you help me listen better? And one way to help Congress listen better is to give citizens a tool to help them more effectively communicate in a compelling way. So that's our problem. How do we modernize citizen engagement? And our solution is this program called Story Hill. And staffers told us that it's great to get an overview of where constituents stand on issues, but some of the most impactful messaging are those that include a personal story. So with Story Hill, we kind of combined a way for citizens to provide their staff and representatives with both of those types of information. There's a rapid polling experience where citizens can rate their views, whether they're for or against it, and then they can share a personal story, and they can do it on a mobile app. So why would somebody use this tool as opposed to using conventional forms of communication? To answer that question, we address some of the current challenges that both citizens and staffers face and how Story Hill addresses those challenges. So right now, there are multiple ways to communicate with Congress. And sometimes it's hard to figure out, do I call my congressman? Do I tweet at them? What do I do to get my message across? They're also seeking validation. Does my message lead to an action? And messages may be seen as inauthentic, especially if you send a form letter Sometimes to the staffer, that might be seen as the constituent doesn't really feel this way. They were just prompted by an advocacy group. So Story Hill provides one effective platform for you to communicate in multiple ways. You can send a text, a message, a photo, a video, all of these platforms. Um, it also enhances validation, because you can see if your story was shared on the floor of the Senate in a speech, um, if they share it on their social media. It's also more authentic. It's tied to a person. Um, you can amplify your story because our idea is that this information isn't just accessible by staffers. You can make it published. So a lobbyist can access it, a journalist, and that can help amplify your message beyond the halls of Congress. And you can do it all in the palm of your hand. From the staffer's perspective, there's too much information and too little staff to handle it. Um, sometimes quality and quantity, there's a question of, you know, how do I find that meaningful message? And there's not really an easy way to filter the mail. Um, and sometimes mass take action campaigns lead to mass responses, where there's not actually a dialogue occurring. So with Story Hill, staffers have a management dashboard. It's easily searchable. Um, you can find a person, an issue. And as I said, mail is filtered by issues. So say your senator is giving a speech about a certain issue, and you're trying to find somebody's story, if they've been impacted by this, you can easily go in and find that story. And it also enables direct communication. You can ask that person for more information, ask for authentication, and things like that. So now I'm going to turn it over to Michael for a live demonstration. Thank you, Colleen. So what we have here is a mock-up of a demo um, for the user experience on a mobile device. So we want to present it with lots of uh, common Lots of common experiences. Uh, and so after you, the user logs in, either with Facebook credentials or by providing emails, they would simply select the, the topics that they're interested in. For example, I might be interested in healthcare and women's issues. And now I can get started. And after you've specified the issues that come up, um, you'll see a variety of items. So maybe I'm for this one and I'm against this one, and really Congress shouldn't be dealing with that. And for this issue, I have a particular story to tell. So I have for and say why, and here I could specify text, a photo, a video, and once I click the share button, it's available for all of those people to use to impact my issue. Thank you very much. Thank you, and we'll take any questions. I'll leave it to the judges, but that's pretty awesome. You hit it right on the dot. <laughs> Questions, judges? So where does it go after this page? Well, our, <laughs> sure. Our idea is once you've collected it, you click the share button. Mike, there are two handhelds you can Oh, sure. Our idea is that once you put it here and it goes into a share button, then it goes into some sort of uh, database repository in the cloud where it can be made available to staffers, lobbyists, news media, et cetera. And various communication devices and privacy uh, concerns would be addressed in that process. So for example, you might want to say, uh, please just send this to my, con make this available to my Congress men and their staff, or I want to make this available publicly. Um, 
and as well, then the congressmen or their staff could go back to that user and communicate. One of the things that we didn't show in the demo was the, the capacity for individuals to actually see messages that people sent that impacted real issues. Um, could you address verification? Um, sure, there's, there's two parts. There's the part of the identity of the person, right? Um, and that's obviously addressed with the login credentials, and we didn't go through all the details, but providing an address or having the information in Facebook. And then the second part is that whenever a staffer or a news media or a lobbyist wants to use a story, then they obviously have to go back to that person, and there would have to be some sort of mediated verification process potentially through Story Hill or directly. Okay. I had the same question about verification because you know all members of Congress care about their constituents, so. Sure, and obviously once a person connects with the system and provides that information, one of the things that you would be able to filter on would be, is this person my constituent, which would be an obvious criteria. Is this a standalone app or is this something that would be integrated into uh, a member's website? So how, how are you going to get uh, people to actually use it is the question. Um, well, the f there's a couple of points. Number one, I, we would love to see it promoted as a means of communication and sharing this information with uh, congressional websites. And the other piece is that in order to get this started, we actually don't need a lot of stories um, in the system. So we think that some sort of... Uh, uh, marketing campaign could bootstrap this to the point where stories that became effective. You know, once I said, you know, my Aunt Jenny's story was used by the New York Times, uh, I share that fact on my social media, then that kind of information can spread much more quickly. Okay, thank Wonderful. you all very Thanks much. Thanks so much.